Testing, testing.
Right, uh, this is the first of um, trying out uh, live streaming and programming. So um, leave comments and things as are in the chat as you go if you want to ask us any questions and I'll go backwards and forwards to it um, as I go through. So this session, um, we're going to look at, well actually, um, this is a separate entity to uh, the games program and stuff. This is object. Okay, has it gone down? Hey, it's good. It's a good start. There we go. We're back. Right, we're back. We're connected. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, just see, we've gone down. Okay. Um, we'll just give it a second, just so. Were um I make sure that it's all working okay, um seems to be all right now, cool. So uh, first thing we're going to need to do is in Visual Studio we're going to create a, a new project. But we're just going to do a um console project. So go to a, a new project on the left hand side, um and go to C sharp. Uh, create a console application. Um, I'm just gonna put mine in a new folder and okay and I'm gonna call this one um, oop examples in module 3 uh, right once that's on um, I'll tell you what, let's just get rid of that because we don't need that anymore. Just get rid of me. And it's just loading up now. Creating the project. Okay, uh, so what you should be seeing is um, simple, uh, all the stuff that we normally get when we create a blank console application. On the right hand side, you have your solution and your project inside the solution. Um, on the left hand side you have the namespace so that is the folder location of all of our um, classes. Then we have our main class called program um, and then the main method which is used to run uh, the application. So what we're going to do is we're going to design a class. Now I said I'm not going to do this um, based on uh, I tell you what, we'll do we'll do vehicles. Vehicles is always a good um a good example to start off with. So what we need to do is create a new class. So you right click the project and go to add, and then class down on the bottom there. When that loads up, um, you'll need to make sure that you select class. Uh, you can't see that actually. Uh, I'm just going to uh, add that one, um, class screen. Okay, should be able to see that now. So I've got my class and I'm going to call this class um, a vehicle class. So I'm going to program um, cars and boats. Um, now when you think about programming, you need to think about, um, or particularly in games, you need to think about things as objects. Okay, so um, just checking the comments there. Uh, just drop any co uh, questions as we go. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm going to create a class for a car and create a class for a boat. Now in program, I need to think. Are these um, classes, do these classes have things in common? All right, so both a car and a board can move forward. Both of them will turn left and turn right. So we use object-oriented uh, object oriented programming to help and um, fine-tune and make programming much easier. So what does every vehicle have? We'll think about it in, in uh, games terms. Every vehicle has um, has a speed. So I'm going to create an integer for speed. 
And uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you chip in uh, in the comments? Why don't you add what else a vehicle has? Add that to the chat. What else does a vehicle have? Think about in games. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a delay or just or whether you're just not bothering. Um, uh, right, is anything being added on? No. Okay, fine. Um, so we'll say that uh, every vehicle has um, acceleration. Why not? Acceleration. How do you spell acceleration? Acceleration. Go faster. That'll do. Um, that's the same as acceleration. Okay. So, um, I could create instances of a vehicle class. I could go to vehicle. V equals new vehicle and that creates an instance of a vehicle class but um or, or i could even sorry just create a, a, a car just like that but that's not what we want to do we want to use object orientation um okay so let's add a second class to it this class will be called car okay so I've got this new uh, class called car and this car class will inherit everything from the vehicle class so in my vehicle class I've said that it has speed and it has an integer called go faster um, by inheriting those variables, it means that I can now access those variables. I can't. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's, it's not going to work, but it's okay. I'm, I'll explain why. Um, back to the... Um, oh. It's gone off again. Right. Back to the objectives. It says... Um, access modifiers using inheritance so look at the error uh, that it says it keeps going off how long has that been off for two seconds let's just plonk on there there we go and then tools Uh, yes, thank thank you, David. I was drinking my tea. Thank you very much for that. Um, sorry for the uh, that just delay. There, just trying to get everything working again. Right, so um, it's seeing here. This is the error that I wanted to illustrate. It says speed does not exist in the current context. Well, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't. I haven't created a variable called um, called speed, but I did in the vehicle class, and I'm inheriting that. So I should really include that. You can do um, two things. <laughs> You can either set it as public or protected. So there's a public and this this is now a public integer called speed, and this is a protected integer called go faster. Let's have one more. Let's have a private um a string. Why not? We'll go with string. Um, Carnian. So now let's have a look. Can I just use the word speed? I can't. I can't because because I haven't set up my constructors yet. Okay, um, we covered this in um, one of the earlier modules. We need a constructor 
um, or and methods to be able to set values from um, an inherited class. A constructor starts off with public and then the name of the class. You put these brackets, which we're going to add parameters that we're going to pass, and include in the body we're going to um, be able to save variables and things like that. So we'll come back to that. <laughs> right now, can I use yes? Right. So this speed variable here doesn't um, hasn't been created, but I'm able to reuse it because it inherits from the vehicle class. Okay. Let's um, try and put in the protected integer go faster. So this one is protected go faster is there. But what about car name? Car name equals Bertle, Bertle the car. Right, why is that error? So it says vehicle.car name is inaccessible due to its protection level. Okay, so let's look at the vehicle class. This is set as private. So what have we discovered? Public variables can be read by what are called subclasses, and protected variables can be read by subclasses. What about the program class? Excuse me, let's create uh, an instance of the car. And type in C dot. I can actually read and write the speed variable. I can read and write this one, which means that um, Uh, apologies, and um, just went down, but it's back on again. Right, we should be back on. Yes. Yes. Feedback. It's 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 gone a bit blurry, but it'll come back on once it gets caught up. Yay! Thank you for that. Right. Uh, what was that? So. Uh, we're still streaming. We're still going through. Um, cool. Thank you. Thank you guys for responding. Um, okay. So what we've what we've we done? We have created a uh, vehicle class. Um, all right. What about uh this board class? I wanted to do as well. So create a class called board. So a board will also inherit everything that a vehicle has because it's also a vehicle because I also I wanted to have um speed and all those things as well. But honestly, what is the point of all of this? Why do we do um inheritance? Why not just type it all out again? Well let's put I'm gonna put a constructor together. Public um in fact I'm gonna create one for the um for the vehicle first. So public vehicle and we're going to construct that vehicle um, class with the following int uh, speed int act that will be short for accelerate and uh, string name. Let's put in this dot speed equals speed. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this value, which is here, and I want to save it into this value up here. I'm going to see that in action in a second. Uh, go faster equals ack and car name equals name. So again, we'll take acceleration, put it into go faster, and we'll take the name that we'll type in put it in car name. Let's look at that from this perspective. So um, vehicle equals new vehicle. 
open left bracket and it's asking for values to be put in so I'll just put some values in and I'm going to delete straight away that creates an instance of a vehicle which has all of those values so we did constructors in one of the uh, much earlier lessons okay thank you for spelling acceleration uh, David thanks <laughs> And somebody said yes, it saves time. Um, uh, using um, oop, it, it is for saving time. It's for um, f making you not uh, making it easier to program. Them. So next, this car class which I created is now having an error. It is saying that there is nothing. There's no argument that corresponds to the required formal parameter of speed of the vehicle um, vehicle object in, in string. Right. Bef before we can do anything else, we need to tell it to put something into the constructor of its um, base class as well. Okay. So um, this time. We are going to um, let's let's try something. Um, let's add to the car constructor. Let's do int uh, speed, um, and then yeah, that's right. Okay, um, we're going to add to the car, but a car will have something else that um, a boat might not have. What does a car have that a boat might not have? Wheels, we'll do, we'll do wheels. That's, that's always the easiest example. So a car has wheels. Um, so we add to our constructor, uh, to the car class. So we've got int speed, int um, go faster. That was, that was acceleration. Yeah, thank you, David. It just didn't look right. And the next one will be uh, was this? That was the name, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to put those variables: speed, acceleration, and name into its base. I'll I'll talk you through how that all comes together: acceleration, and then name. Right. So this time, what will happen is, actually I'm gonna put that there. This speed variable, let's go to the program. Car, new car, equals new car. Uh, speed is 10, acceleration is 20, and name is, hello. It takes this 10 variable, which is inside speed and it needs to be saved somewhere it needs to be saved into this variable here which gets passed back down from here to here to here up back into here so what we're doing is we are saving variables in a, um, different but appropriate places let's um, now add wheels to the constructor so we'll see how many wheels the car has um, let's add that to the uh, let's add it to the front just so it's easier in uh, wheels um, this dot wheels equals wheels so really um, the car has inherited all of the attributes from vehicle class but also included wheels in it. It just fixes this final error here because it needs how many wheels this car has. It's a four wheeled car, because obviously. And let's do the same for a boat. Um, what does a boat have that, um, yeah, what does a boat have that a car doesn't? Uh, 
What does it call have that a boat doesn't? Um, let's have. Um, I don't know. I tell you what, let's have a boolean for a change. Let's have a uh, boolean for seals being on. What's a boolean? Can you remember what a boolean is? Okay. Um, it inherits from a uh, vehicle. So let's see if uh, let let's get it um, pass those back into the base. Uh, of course, that's int uh, wheels. No, not int wheels. Int speed. Int accelerate. Acceler Uh, yeah, the connection has just died, but it, it it just goes off, but it just comes back on. Um, thank you. Uh, um, I don't know who Guns UK is, um, but David um, and Kurt said sales. Kurt also said true and false, which is the answer to um, which is the answer to what uh, a boolean is. Um, Don't worry, I'll not leave his behind. Right, um, where was I? Right, boaty McBoat face. Uh, the speed of the boat, let's make the speed boat, make it faster. Acceleration, 50, just cause. And the string, we'll give it a name. Um, boaty the third, that'll do. Right, then we'll also add to the boat. So those seals on that um, we wanted to do Bulls, um, uh, I'll just do the same sales on. <sighs> this dot sales on equals sales on. Fix that in the program. True. Sales on is true. Why not? Okay. So what we've done. Um, let's just check that over, make sure that we've covered um, the objectives. I uh, didn't realize that the, the, uh, the, the stream just go off there. Are we all good? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. Okay, yeah. So, let's look back at our presentation. So, what have we covered? We've covered um, creating a class. Implementing inheritance as a minimum, just the attributes. We haven't done methods yet. Touched on access modifiers. Not worth looking at static or anything just yet. Um. Okay, so what is object-oriented programming? I'll leave that for a question to you. What is object-oriented programming? Why, uh, why use object-oriented programming? <laughs> Um, well, let's tie this in uh, let's tie this into games now so it's one thing doing like all uh, cars and vehicles and stuff but really um, if it was a games project what would we do so that I'm gonna switch it back over to the program and I'm gonna start a new one start a new project so that's uh, command shift and N. Uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to um, add the project to uh, the solution. Um, call this one gun example. Add a class to gun example. Call it uh, gun. Switch over to programming. Uh, 
using it for multiple objects of the same type. Object oriented programs used for use multiple objects of the same type. Yes, creating instances of the same type. So you so you um, cutting down on programming. Um, right. So gun class uh, guns. Um, I like to go to Destiny as an example. Um, guns. You've got different different types of guns, and then different subclasses of guns even further. So. Uh, what does a gun have? Uh, it has an int for ammo. It has, um, uh, why not have a float for, for range? Why why would I not use a float for ammo? Um, uh, answer in the chat, why would I not use a float for ammo? What was the example that I like to give? Then, um, add a class. Uh, this class is going to be, um, Assault rifle. So if you create an assault rifles in the game, um, but you know that every single gun in the game is going to have, um, it's going to have damage. It's going to have ammo. It's going to have all of these things and make it inherit from the gun class. Okay, like that. Um, and then it uses those variables as it does. I'll just quickly put a constructor in, and um, so we can set those variables. Um, Uh, ammo equals uh, 10 why can I not do that why can I not do that can you uh, can you let us know why it's just gone wrong why am I getting an error here the answer is because that needs to be public or protected <laughs> I want to set this public um, so I can set the value um, or I could um, just add it to uh, the constructor again um, going through base etc etc um, uh, ammo base dot ammo equals ammo um right so i could create an instance of the gun class and uh what was the name of the uh, the, uh, uh that was it um assault rifles uh monte carlo equals new go assault rifle and then it needs how much ammo does it have i think it has something like 36 or something in its ammo count right so there we go i'd like to finish there um, let's quickly reflect on oh it's gone off again um, quickly reflect on what we've covered um, what is um, object oriented programming what is create a class implement an inheritance a bare memory of just attributes and access modifiers next lesson we're going to do method passing constructors again uh, but this time with oop in mind uh, we've kind of done it, but oh, actually, is that what I want to do? I'll tell you, what, we'll leave it as creating methods in OOP, and then we'll probably, we might get time to, uh, to move on after that. Okay, cool. Um, anything else? Right, cool, right, so I'm going to end the stream now. Um, I'm going to check just to see if there's any more um, comments. Um, answering some of the questions floats are used for, for fractional values and as David said um, it would be imp impressive to have half a bullet yes exactly so you couldn't have um, so in integers are used for whole numbers um, so you wouldn't necessarily have half a bullet right I'm going to end the stream uh, thanks for watching if it was alright I'll probably do some more um, hopefully it'll just make my life much easier